Sorry, pal. We're out of gas and your engine is boiling. Let's see if we can fix you up here. We'll be back on the road in no time. Stranded in the middle of nowhere. Locked. Of course. Somebody forgot their toolbox. This loot box contains only some rusty pliers. No juice. It's just one short circuit before everything... No juice. At least the cold chain is unbroken. I wish. It's frozen shut. Hansen's ice cream. I used to love it when I was little. How should I open the door with these rusty pliers? My tires should still last a couple of miles. Terra Incognita Scenic Highway. Next town ahead. Long shot by the sea. Sounds promising. Those pliers won't help me with that. Out of gas. Out of gas. And the engine is overheated. Not a chance. I need to find some gas and engine coolant first. At least the cold chain is unbroken. Does it ever rain here anyway? No way! A hidden replacement key. That was too easy. As if it wanted to be found. It fits. That was almost too easy. It's pitch black. I can't even see my own hands. There's something funny about that picture. switch. This must be the main fuse. Electrical cables. Extra large, no refill. Coffee. If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and hot coffee. 20% bun, 5% cold cuts, and 75% cling film. Thanks, but no thanks. This is the end of nowhere. I wonder if these postcards would ever reach their destination. This one shows a map of the area. I'll take it with me.
quite off the beaten track. Marks. Pretty useless out here anyways. Zip. Looks dusty. Cold water is leaking out. Cold as ice. Exactly what I need. There you go. Have some Kool Aid. Stones. Did they ever actually help anyone? Cold water is leaking out. If it wasn't for the sand and rubble, the impenetrable darkness, the legions of bugs, and that awful smell of gasoline everywhere, this shore could make a nice place for a picnic. My tires should still last. Finally, we can make off again. Oh, come on. Start already. It's that darn oil pump again. Looks like we'll be stuck here for a while.
place. When's the next bus back to the city? Beverly, I have arrived. I feel spewn out into the most barren, dark void of Europe. All things considered, this could most likely be the best vacation ever. Feeling chilled out already. The next city is like a thousand miles away. Ah, yes, that's where I am. The bus stop. My gateway to the outside world. Its heydays are over. of the region. The upper section has been torn off. Arrived at destination after a short walk. Trubberbrook, a tranquil little town. Seems a bit run down. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with this town already. That's probably the town's landmark. The Mysterious Village. Who is into this kind of stuff? Small ads, postings, announcements. They're holding a town fair soon. Exciting. I should check into my room first before I start exploring the town. Evening. Hey. Nobody there, huh? Doesn't seem so. Please ring bell for service. We only serve small pots of coffee outside the restaurant. Hello? I'm not going to give up. Good afternoon. How can I help you, darling? Um... There's a room reserved for me. You know the, the lottery? I won a stay over here. You won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? Well, actually, I don't really remember taking part in any lottery myself. Yet I received this winning notification. What was the name again? Name's Tannhauser. Tannhauser, Tannhauser, Elevenhauser. Oh, oh, Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Oh, yes, here we have it. <sighs> Say, is it a quiet room? 
Seeking some peace and quiet. Uh huh. Well, I'm working on a text and I could really use some serenity. Text? Are you a kind of writer or something? I wouldn't say that. Right now, I'm writing a paper on quantum physics. I've heard worse. You arrived just in time for the big anniversary celebration. Trüberbrook is a bit noisier than usual around these days. But apart from that, I'd say you have nothing to worry about in terms of disturbance. Here's your key, Dr. Tenhauser. My name is Trude, by the way. If you don't mind, where are all the other guests? Let's put it this way. The season in Trüberbrook is already over. I get the impression the season has been over for some time. just disappear with my paper? Something unusual happened. There was an uninvited guest in my room tonight. Now that he's escaped, I'm going to chase him down. What a mess. I don't want to mess up the crime scene. What is this? Some kind of goo. Where did he go? Darkest night. In the pale starlight, this village appears to be composed of jagged silhouettes and loneliness. Hey there. Taking a little night stroll? Someone was in my room. You only just got here and you already have secret admirers? No, it was a burglar. I think. Well, I haven't seen anyone sneaking around here, but if I were you, I would probably follow these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. You've got a point there. Please excuse me. This situation is growing aggravating. I followed the person who stole my notes into a kind of dead-end street. And now he's vanished. Picture me, standing here at the edge of the world, stripped of my writings. I wonder who on earth would steal a paper on quantum physics. Do you like ghost stories? It is said that a proto-Germanic cult used to live up here in the mountains. They prayed to the spirits of the forests. I know it's a long shot, but maybe this visitor of yours is one of those spirits? Those proto-Germans sure had a lot of imagination. Nonsense, I was just trying to mess with you. What was your name again? Tenhauser? Name's Gretchen. I'm an anthropologist. In fact, those old proto-Germanic ritual grounds just so happen to be my special subject. One of them is supposedly somewhere around here, though I haven't been able to find it yet. Gretchen, well met. Now that's all well and good, but what am I going to do without my notes? You know what? I'm going to help you track down that burglar. It looks like he escaped with one of the old gondolas. I bet he's hiding somewhere in the mountains, which incidentally is also where I was heading. Come on, you're a scientist. 
You're coming with me now and you're going to help me find this ritual site. Who knows, maybe you'll even find your evil spirit there. The one with an interest in quantum whatchamacallits. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So what do you say? You with me? I... Ha! I knew you had the spirit of adventure in you. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. The early bird catches the warm and all that. We have to find a way up the mountain. It would be easiest if we used a cable car. I reckon that's also what our friend thought. The cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in pristine condition. What do you think? Don't worry, I'm sure I can fix this. I can't fix this. The master key is missing and a weasel damaged the electric mains. Maybe it was the burglar who did this. The plan. I'll hold the position and try my best. Why don't you take a look around town? We need the master key for the cable car. Also, we need to override the broken mains. Think you can remember that? I'll try to remember. Let's go. This is going to be fun. This old generator is running at maximum strength. It's even sending out sparks. Hello? Anybody there? What was that? High voltage. There's got to be a way we can fix this. It's glowing red. These binoculars should provide an excellent view of the opposite lake shore. I have to insert a coin first. This cat again. That's some sturdy full grown reed. Its heydays are over. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Locked. Actually, it's quite a nice table. Be careful! The table is wobbling terribly! You better keep your distance! This table has a horrible wobble!
Is that a maggot? It's having a good time. I'll save you, my little friend. Please don't stand there. This muddle of spots and drips is probably telling more about the room's many previous occupants than I'd wish to know. I'm not tired. Just a hanger. What a mess. Nothing appears to be missing, except for my notes. I don't want to mess up the crime. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Can you tell me something about the old cable car? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. Who exactly is this Baron von Sülz? Baron von Sülz used to run the mine, a philanthropist and patron of the arts. His wife was a flamboyant Baroness von Sülz. You must have heard of her. Anyway, when the company took over the mine, the Baroness dropped him as well and left the Baron behind. A broken man. Now his cat is his only remaining pleasure. What about this mysterious company you were talking of? They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. They have connections to the top, if you know what I mean. Way up to the highest circles of power. What became of the people working the mine? More and more outsiders came to town. Nobody knows what they were actually doing in the mines. Some went missing, some went crazy. Who can tell? At one point, they even bought the old sanitarium in order to provide housing for their workers. That was before the mine shut down, of course. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? I'd like to report a theft. There was an uninvited guest in my room last night. In our house? Oh dear, I'm so very sorry. Let me call the police immediately. Thanks. I will keep you informed. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. By the way, the buffet is open. Please help yourself. Look. Hey. She's almost in a trance. Hey, please don't hmm. stand there. There's something funny about that clock. I don't want to take this with me. If anywhere, it belongs in the trash. But I love cheese skewers. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. I've been wondering about that cable car. I don't want to think about the old cable car. This wobbling table is simply unbearable. It's driving me crazy. I 
Actually, it's quite a nice table. Be careful! The table is wobbling terribly! This table! It has a wobble! Everything's going down the drain around here. This table... Good morning. Ex Are you all right? Please don't ask. I can't even savor my cognac as long as this terrible table keeps on wobbling. Good morning. Ex You've got yourself... It's heartbreaking to see the town in decline like this. Everything's going down the drain, just like this wobbly table. There's a clothesline up there, right under my window. There's a selection of local charcuterie on display. Wurstebrei, Stippgrütze, Schlagte Platte, Patoke, Tote Oma. Hi. Hey. About the cable car. What was the problem with the power line again? We have to fix the high voltage power cord in order to get the cable car running. If you touch it, it will fry your synapses. We still have to reconnect the loose ends somehow. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, I was just about to ask. So, how long have you been here? The day before yesterday. Feels much longer, though. And just saying, the public transportation around here? Germany is a mess. But then how did you get here? Individual travel. By motorcycle, of course. Why Trüberbrück, of all places? It's hard to find, even on a map. But I'm not from these parts, after all. I've been trying to pinpoint the exact location of those ritual grounds for a while now. And when I finally found them, I immediately took off. The people around here are nice, but also a little weird, don't you think? I was given a warm welcome, though. Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? So you're from the States, huh? The United States of America. Where from exactly? Woodenville, Washington. Hmm, never heard of it. Any bigger cities nearby that I might know? Seattle, the rainy jewel of the Northwest. Heard of it? Oh yes, I know the place. I was passing through some time ago. You've been to the States? Yes, once. That was a few years back, though. Actually, I had come to New York to attend a conference. But then I got acquainted with some folks there and stayed a while longer. I've heard enough. Thank you. I just wanted to say hi. All right. Don't forget we need to get the cable car working. High voltage. No, 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 Hans. That would be a really bad idea. Danger. High voltage. Mm -hmm. 
This bucket seems to have been hung here for purely decorative reasons. Wooden fences always remind me of... The next city is like a thousand miles. 